got two weeks Pfizer does to turn into the FDA all listed ingredients that are in the shot along with a complimentary labeling and they have to match up so they have to disclose for the first time now to the world what's in there wow. which there have been proposed ideas that there's graphene oxide in there how much mRNA is in there we actually don't know all the ingredients the emergency use authorization allowed the actual manufacturers to put in and change the formula this entire time wow. it's only once the approval process from the FDA steps in that they're not allowed to change it legally anymore so they have to submit what it, what's the final version of your vaccine. So every shot that people got could be different. Could be completely that's different. different. Yeah, that's crazy. For example, the very first Moderna shots that went out in December, they had two, two right. patented little ingredients inside the shots. Now there's seven. Oh. But they haven't had to disclose what the other five are. We don't even know what they are. So wow. all of these have been different. So one of the reasons why people ask, I mean, they ask a lot and reach out to us a lot. Why is it that... I got the shots early on for COVID-19, but I didn't get sick. And why are we seeing all these other issues? And I'm telling them, they're actually changing the lots all the time. So I actually think the original shots did not have all the ingredients they do now. It's obvious Moderna only had two patented ingredients. Now there's seven. They're actually more dangerous now, I would expect, than the previous ones. So, so that's the news that's come out about the FDA. Uh, the CDC also announced in the same week, they announced that they put it out in the media, if you didn't see this yet, U.S. News reported on it on the 17th. Florida Star reported it. We've already got all the media outlets talking about it. They then sent a notice to every hospital in the United States and said this week you can... So from the second week of September, people may not be allowed to worship in churches and mosques without showing proof of their vaccination cards at the gates. Similarly, people will not be allowed to event centers for parties or receptions without showing proof of their vaccination cards at the gates of these occasions. We have made adequate arrangements with security to prevent anybody who does not have a vaccination card from accessing any of these events. Also, you will not be allowed to access banking services in Edo State from the middle of September if you have not been vaccinated. 